Jeff Gordon has won nearly a third of all races that he's competed in this year. Times, Jeff seemed to have the right combination of skill and luck that carried him through tight situations and into victory lane ten times. But as was the case in his first championship season of 95, the late races have brought him to the brink of disaster. If I had a choice where I wanted to be, this is where I'd want to be. And I like pressure, you know, and it's not something that I want every day, but in pressure situations, uh, me and, and this team have been able to step up to the plate. This man has accumulated one of the most impressive records in NASCAR, but has always fallen just short of the mark. I think that our race team does an awesome job. It seems like when the year's over, there's always been someone who's done a better job than us. So maybe it'll happen this year, maybe next year. started at the foot of the mountain with the first race at Daytona. Now we're near the top uh, with our 32nd race, and the championship is at the top of that mountain. We're almost there. and start this 500-mile journey, which will crown the champion for the 1997 season. Human, just like the rest of us, he made a mistake as he's leaving the pits, scrubbing the tires. He probably was thinking about what the car is going to do on, this, on that run. That instant that he lost concentration, he spins into Bobby Hamilton's car, ruining his primary car, having to go to backup car. And then in qualifying, a bad qualifying run net, he will start 37. The car number 33 is Ken Schrader. This is Jeff Gordon behind Bill Elliott. The onboard Kim, we have an Elliott's car today, and we've got a heavy crash. Jeff Bodine is involved in this crash. Brett Bodine. I'm sorry, Brett Bodine. And Buckshot Jones, the rookie, who is making his first NASCAR Winston Cup start here this afternoon, and that Aquafresh car is badly damaged. Brett Bodine was on pit road three or four times during the mandatory caution, so as maybe to indicate there was something wrong with the car, it is badly damaged along with buckshots right now. Wow, man. Has locked up the championship for Jeff Gordon. One lap to go. I think you're right, Benny. The white flag is out as Bobby Labonte has taken the white flag and he's on the last lap. We're not going to uh, proclaim the uh, championship until it's absolutely locked up, but it looks like Jeff Gordon is going to do it once again. We turn our attention now to Bobby Labonte as he brings his Pontiac through the third and fourth quarters. Here he is on to the quad oval. Bobby Labonte wins the Napa 500 at Atlanta Motor Speedway, concluding the 97 season. And Jeff Gordon is going to win his second championship. He's over on the back stretch, and you can see he has significantly reduced his speed, but he will be the champion. Jeff lost a couple of spots on this last lap. I know Dale Earnhardt was able to get by him, take a spot away. But nevertheless, 
Jeff Gordon wins the 1997 NASCAR Winston Cup Championship, his second and the third straight Winston Cup Championship for car owner Rick Hendry. The victor go the spoils, and Jeff Gordon has come home victorious, not here today in this race, but on the overall championship. Jeff Gordon wins the title by just 14 markers over Dale Jarrett. Jeff Gordon is still on the racetrack, being escorted around this track by a pace car, and he'll soon be pulling into championship victory lane. Jeff Gordon finished 17th today. Three laps down to our winner, Bobby Labonte. He becomes the 13th driver to win two championships, but the only one to win two in his 20s. He is 26 years, three months, and 12 days old. <laughs> hey, don't ruin the hood of that. The roof, I mean, but he did. Here's Jerry Punch. 